So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe After Effects CC and also Illustrator CC. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a 3D logo, import it into After Effects, and then render it as a 3D project. So let's get started, I'm going to take this vector graphic here, I'm going to save it. This is a very simple graphic that I just want to use as an example. Go File, Save As, and then we're going to just save it and call it Logo. Next we're going to go to After Effects and select Composition, New Composition, select OK, then go to File, Import and we're going to select that logo file. We're going to take the logo file, bring it into the timeline, and then what we're going to do is right click on it and select create shapes from vector layer. Now what we can do is delete the logo layer, and then right over here we can select it as a 3D layer. Now if you select Ray Trace 3D, you can also select options. When you have that draft, it means it's going to be less quality in the program, but you can work a lot faster throughout the project. So I'm going to select OK, and then select OK again. On the drop down menu here on the timeline, we have geometry options, we have a bevel style, and we also have bevel depth, whole bevel depth, and also extrusion depth. So I'm going to select concave for the bevel style, and then I'm going to increase the bevel depth at 8, and the extrusion depth we're going to set at 50. Now what we can do is take the rotation tool, and we can start rotating our shape. Now you can kind of see that it's 3D over here, but what will make this a lot better is using camera and lights. So let's select some lighting layers. Go to layer, new, and select light. We have an ambient light at 50%. I'm going to select OK. Then we're going to go to Layer, New, and select Light again. This time we're going to select a point, and let's make that 25%. Then we're going to add one more lighting layer. We're going to go to Layer, New, and then select Light again. And this time we're going to select a spotlight. Let's make that 50%. Now let's add a camera layer. Let's go to Layer, New, and select Camera. I have it at 15 millimeters, and select OK. And then if we want to make it rotate, all we have to do is select the drop down menu over here, and then we can select transform. We're going to select one keyframe for the Y rotation, scrub on the timeline, and just add another keyframe like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial in Adobe After Effects CC and also Illustrator CC. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.